This is their moment to samba. This summer will be their carnival. Show your American spirit. The official online shop at USA Swimming. Exclusively at swimoutlet.com. <laughs> what's the first question for, for no, me? No, no, I'm not asking it. The first question. What's this question? The question is... I have nothing serious. <laughs> Go get them. Thanks, Eddie. Appreciate it. Mac Reaver, six-time Olympic medalist, tested his speed at the Austin Elite Invite. What did he learn? I learned I still don't like doing the 200 backstroke. <laughs> uh, no, it was a really good experience. I had to keep reminding myself of the kind of swimmer I am. Seeing some of the swims around the country this past weekend can be a little scary. <laughs> seeing seeing uh, fellow Team USA teammates going that fast, uh, it's incredible. They're doing awesome. So I knew I had to step up my game tonight. And for me, a 53 mid is fantastic. Uh, this, this meet four years ago, a meet at this time four years ago, is 54-6. So the fact that I'm the second faster, if I can drop two and a half seconds like I did last time, we're looking pretty. Uh, I don't think that'll happen, but I feel really good about where I am. Grievers was a 53.4 in Austin, while Ryan Murphy clocked a 52.7 in Santa Clara, and Plummer dropped a 52.4 in Indianapolis. Grievers took it in stride, noting the low-key atmosphere at the Longhorn meet. It was a test meet. That's what it was. People were here to kind of figure out strokes, figure out race strategies. It wasn't just about going your best time. It was about figuring out where you're at and what you need to do the next three weeks. Uh, for me, I got pretty pumped up seeing those guys go 52s yesterday. Uh, it became a little more serious for me and I needed to put out a time that I thought was somewhat competitive and uh, that's kind of what I was able to do. So it got a little more serious throughout the weekend for me at least. What does taper time look like for Matt Reavers? Taper time, it's fun time. Yeah, it's probably gonna drop the weights a little bit. Uh, add some explosive power chains. Uh, try to lose some weight muscle and maintain my strength. So basically swimming is going to look like a warm up, pace, and warm down. They're doing this on purpose. A lot of fans showed up in Austin for the backstroke giant, and those cheers, they were just having fun with them. Anyway, taper time for grievers. Is there a lot of hot tubbing for grievers during taper time? Oh yeah, there's a lot of hot tubs, especially in the mornings when it's cold. Yeah, kind of, kind of warm back up. Are there days during a Grievers taper where he just dips his toe in the water and then leaves for the day? No, that I wouldn't go all the way to practice to do that, but uh, yeah, there'll be some relaxing days for sure. Life is good for the Hunter Backstroke Defending Olympic Champion with corporate partnerships from Tier Sport, AT&T, Wintrust Bank, and Blue Diamond Almonds. That's exclusive footage, courtesy of Grievers manager, David Arlick. 100 Backstroke Olympic Trials predictions. Whoa, I don't know. This is tough. I think Grievers wins in Omaha. 51.8, world record performance. I think Ryan Murphy pulls up second, 52.2, but after Plummer's 52.4 in Indianapolis, I don't know. I'm a little shaky on those. What do you think? Does Plummer break through? Let's talk about this thing. Uh Arlick, someone put up a video of you training, dry land. It looks very intense and intimidating. Is that necessary or do you just do it to intimidate your competition? Uh, <laughs> it's not fully necessary. And, you know, I can almost hurt myself with that thing. You get a lot of momentum with that little ball thrown around. Uh, it's good for core, backstrokes. I'm all about leverage swimming, so I use uh, my lats and obliques and uh, a lot of ab muscles so that kind of ball exercise is pretty good for backstroke. So it has a real uh, application to swimming.